might have heard of the brand Helix Sleep on your favorite podcast recently, but how are the mattresses actually? Well, we're going to try to answer that question for you in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, and in this video, we've got our review of the Helix lineup of mattresses. A lot of times we're doing a review of a single mattress, but with Helix, they do things quite a bit differently than your average bed in a box mattress brand. And so we're gonna be talking about all the beds in today's video. If you find this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. And as always, there's gonna be a lot of extra info down below in the description to help you out with your online mattress search, including full written reviews, best list comparisons, and probably most importantly, any discounts we can find to help save you some money on Helix and maybe any other bed you might be interested in. So be sure to take a look. Let's start this review by covering the policy information you should expect should you decide to order a mattress from Helix. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. Now Helix did send us these beds for free so we could test them out and tell you all about them. But if you get one for yourself, you're gonna start with free bed in a box shipping. This is how the vast majority of beds are delivered these days. A lot of times, even if you buy a mattress directly from a brick and mortar store, it'll still show up in a box. This is because it's just really easy and convenient. You just bring in the box, you open it up, you rip off the plastic, and then you watch the mattress inflate before your eyes. We've done it literally hundreds of times over here and it's still kind of fun. Now, there are a couple things I do wanna go over with the whole unboxing process. Number one, rope someone in to help you, whether it's a family member or a friend, because it just makes the whole process go a lot easier. I've unboxed quite a few beds by myself and while it's definitely not impossible it just goes a lot more smoothly with someone helping you out and one other thing is that right when you unbox a mattress because it's been compressed in that plastic wrapping for so long there's a really good chance the bed might have a bit of a smell to it it might look a little misshapen and it's most likely going to feel pretty soft like if you lay down on the mattress right after you unbox it you might sink all the way down to your foundation or your floor this is totally normal. It just needs time to fully inflate and reach its proper firmness level and should be totally ready to go in a day or two. You can still sleep on the mattress night one. It's not gonna cause it any damage or anything. It just might not be firm enough to your liking. So if the bed looks totally weird when you unbox it, don't worry, it's totally normal. Once the bed arrives at your door is when your trial period of 100 nights kicks in. And this is when the bed arrives at your door, not when you start sleeping on it. This is pretty important. So if you get your mattress and you leave it in the box for a week or two, that does eat into your trial period. So I would try to get it unboxed as quickly as possible. So you get 100 nights, so a little over three months to sleep on the bed at home to really decide if you like it and you wanna keep it. If you decide that you don't wanna keep it within the trial window, you can return it and get a full refund. However, if you decide to keep the bed, which the vast, vast majority of people end up doing, especially if you're watching a video like this, you're looking at a 10 to 15 year warranty, depending on which one you go with. So that's all the policy info. This is kind of the bare minimum you should expect if you're ordering a mattress online. And we'll try and link more information about those policies down below in the description if you wanna learn more. But that's really not the reason you're gonna be purchasing a mattress online. You're gonna to wanna to know about many, many other things. And we're just gonna start with how Helix works because they do things quite a bit differently than a lot of other online mattress brands. So if we're looking at ultra popular online mattress brands like Casper or Lisa or something like that, they have four to five different mattresses you can choose from, all of which are quite a bit different and very greatly in price. They kind of do a good, better, best model. Helix does things significantly differently. So if we have their core lineup of mattresses, they have six base model Helix beds. Then they have six upgraded versions of those core models. So that's 12 beds right there. And then if we're factoring in their two natural and organic mattresses, they're called Birch and Birch Lux and their bed specifically designed for heavier folks called Helix Plus, they have 15 different total beds you can choose from, which might sound super overwhelming. How can you really differentiate between them? Okay, pause for one second. Hey, how's it going? This is Future Owen. So in the time it took us to film this video, edit this video, and post this video, Helix has actually introduced an entirely new lineup of beds called the Helix Elite. They announced this literally today. I haven't gotten the chance to test them out yet, but once we do, we're gonna be making a lot of content about them. We're really excited to take a look at these things. So make sure you look down below in the description. It might already be posted by the time you're watching this video. In the meantime, everything in this video is still super relevant, so be sure to keep watching. The core models and the Lux models have haven't changed, they've just added a new lineup of beds. So let's get back to the video. Fortunately, Helix has a very quick and easy to complete sleep quiz that will determine which of the Helix beds should work best for you. The Birch mattresses and the Helix Plus aren't really part of the quiz, so it really focuses on those core and luxe models. So you have the Sunset mattress, the Moonlight mattress, the Midnight, the Twilight, the Dusk, and the Dawn. These beds are similar in many important ways, which we'll go over, but they're also different enough that you should be able to find one that really fits your specific sleeping preferences. 
So let's start off with what these beds have in common. All six core models will be priced the same, which is really, really nice. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of brands will have a sort of good, better, best model where you have one bed that's really affordable and then one that's kind of in the middle tier and one that's super expensive. All the core models have the same price and all the Lux models have the same price, which is pretty nice. The core models are pretty darn affordable. You're looking at about a $1,400 MSRP. And once you're factoring in discounts, which should be linked down below in the description, should bring that price down to around 1100 bucks. Really competitively priced with a lot of other popular brands like Brooklyn Bedding, Casper, Lisa, and Ghostbed. If you wanna look at the Lux models, those are gonna be significantly more expensive. We'll talk about the differences between the Lux models and the core models here a little bit later. But those beds are gonna be around 2400 bucks for a queen size MSRP but once you're factoring in discounts, it should be closer to 1900 bucks, which in my opinion, it still makes it a pretty solid value, but noticeably more expensive than the core models. The other big thing all the Helix beds have in common is that they are all gonna be hybrid beds by default. And what hybrid means is that it uses a combination of coils and foam in its construction. The only real distinction in our book between a hybrid bed and an all foam mattress is that the construction layers of an all foam mattress are gonna be comprised entirely of foam layers and a hybrid's gonna have coils. Having coils gives you a few different advantages, namely they're gonna be more supportive and durable over the long term, especially for heavier folks. We pretty much always recommend if you're 220 pounds or more to look into getting a hybrid bed like a Helix bed. You'd probably be fine on an all foam mattress for a number of years, but you obviously want your mattress to last as long as it can. And a coil mattress is just gonna do a better job at being more durable and supportive over the long haul. So that's one reason to get a coil mattress. The other is that it adds a bit of extra bounce to your mattress, which some people really enjoy. I know I prefer mattress with a little more bounce than a lot of all foam beds can provide. And coils are usually a little bit better at providing airflow because there's just less surface area on a steel coil for air to travel through than a super dense foam. So that is one thing you're gonna be getting with all the beds from Helix. The look and design is also gonna be really consistent with the Helix Core models and the Helix Lux models. The only thing that really changes between them is the color that goes along the outside. The look of a mattress is pretty inconsequential in our opinion because you know, you're gonna be wrapping it in sheets and blankets and pillows and stuff, but it's always nice to have a nice looking bed and I think the Helix beds are. Next up, let's talk about the general differences between the Helix Lux beds and the Helix Core models. The biggest thing is they're all gonna have just more material, they're thicker mattresses, and they all feature a really nice quilted pillow top. In our opinion, this does add an extra dimension of comfort that the Lux mattresses have that you don't really get on the Core models, just a more luxurious mattress, hence the name Lux. Plus they also have a zone support system within the coils. This means that the bed is divided into separate sections with slightly varying levels of firmness that are supposed to help keep your spine in a more neutral alignment no matter what position you sleep in. So the center of the mattress is gonna be a bit firmer, which is where you carry the majority of your body weight. And then the outer edges are gonna be a bit softer, which is where you're gonna want more pressure relief. It's not something you're gonna really feel that much on a nightly basis. Maybe when you first get to bed, you'll notice it as your body's adjusting. But over time, it's just a nice feature supposed to help alleviate back pain. Now on paper, there's actually not that much different about the Helix Lux models in comparison to the Helix Core models. But when you actually lay down on them, you will notice it. And I think if you have the budget for it, it's probably worth spending up for a Helix Lux. I really, really like the Helix Lux beds. The core models are perfectly nice and very budget friendly. But again, if you have the budget for it, I think the Helix Lux mattresses are probably worth it. Now let's briefly cover the individual mattresses. Again, I'm guessing you're not gonna be shopping for any one of these mattresses specifically. You'll probably just wind up taking the sleep quiz and then going with the recommendation. But I still think it's worth it to mention the individual beds. So the Helix Moonlight mattress is gonna be super soft and actually have a bit more of that body conforming memory foam quality you might be expecting from a memory foam mattress. Now in general, I would describe the feel of all the Helix beds to be more of a soft neutral feel. However, there is some nuance between the models and I would say the Moonlight probably has the most of that sink in memory foam feel that you might be looking for. The Sunset mattress is also really soft, but it has less of that body conforming memory foam quality. And then the Midnight mattress is probably Helix's most popular bed overall because it's generally really accommodating. It's around a medium on the firmness scale. It has that really accommodating soft neutral feel that most people will probably like. And a lot of people who take the quiz, especially couples, wind up with the Midnight mattress because in our opinion, it is the most accommodating of the Helix mattress lineup. The Helix Dusk is also gonna be around a medium like the Midnight, only it's gonna have a bit more of that memory foam quality, kind of like the Moonlight mattress. And then the 
Twilight and Dawn mattresses are gonna be the firmer Helix mattress offerings with the Dawn mattress having a bit more of that memory foam quality. Again, I would probably just go with the one that the Sleep Quiz recommends to you, but if you really have your heart set on one of these mattresses, you can order it individually without having to bother with the Sleep Quiz. Again, I would say the Midnight is probably the most popular, most accommodating, so maybe that's the one you're interested in, but I think the Sleep Quiz is definitely worth taking. And that leaves us with the question, who should think about getting a mattress from Helix? And I think that is gonna be a pretty easy question to answer. I think it's gonna be pretty much everybody. I think if you are specifically looking for a classic, dense, sink-in memory foam feel in your next mattress, then maybe steer clear of Helix. You might get just enough of that in the Moodline mattress to your liking because it does have a decent amount of memory foam feel, but it's not gonna be that classic Tempur-Pedic style that you might be looking for. But for everybody else, I think there's a ton to like about Helix. The Sleep Quiz provides you with a nice guided shopping experience and, you know, maybe you don't really know what you want in your next mattress and you will probably find one of the six will work pretty well for you, if not be a really ideal choice. But let us know what you think. Write us down below in the comment section. What do you think of Helix? Which of the six do you think you would go with? And if you have any additional questions, make sure you look down below in the description. I know I've said it a lot, but there's a ton of resources to help you with your online mattress search, so be sure to take a look. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But that's gonna do it for me. This is Owen at Home. I'll see you in the next one.